Hey, I'm Steve Kress from Pasadena, California. I want to introduce you to the most equipped police movie car in the world. When you book me for a shoot, the car comes with me for free. I have full push bars and 100 watt siren up front, corner strobes, intersection strobes, spotlights, interior light bar, dash light bar. I have my authentic ticket book from when I was a cop back in the day. I could probably show you the penal code books, but it uh, shows that was going back a little ways. Anyways, inside, you'll see the reason why this is the most equipped police movie car in the world. Inside is functional radar, dash cams, functional computer. I can put up any screen you want with the suspect information, rap sheets and whatnot. But there is a Motorola radio that can communicate with three real radios that myself or another actor can use. You can even communicate with the director with those radios. Here are all the controls for the smart siren. I have an assault rifle and shotgun. Coming back outside. Back of the car. I have interceptor lights. Again, more strobes. Everything you could ever want in a police movie car. Now this uniform right here is Los Angeles Police with flat leather. I also have other uniforms, full SWAT, I have assault rifles, major crime scene props, body bags, CSI kit, everything you could imagine. I'm going to show you the rest of the uniforms in just a sec. Another uniform I have is the fictitious agency Current Valley Police with basket weave leather. Complete with Current Valley Police markings that go on magnetically as well as baby moon hubcaps for that tougher look. This here is LA County Sheriff uniform with basket weave leather. And I forgot to mention about the car, what other police movie car has four automatic license plate reading cameras? Not a single one. You got a crime scene. I have crime scene evidence markers. I have a full CSI kit with every little bit of CSI gear you can imagine. Fully stocked evidence tags, fingerprint dusting, as well as all your evidence containers, labels to keep uh, people out of the uh, crime scene. You got a guy that's dead in the movie? Well, you know what? They should probably put him in a body bag. That's a real body bag. And if you have a guy in the movie who's just refusing to answer the door, I even have a door rammer and they even welded in a smiley face to it.